Hello YouTube, this is the Java Programmer. And uh, in the last couple of videos, we started uh, building out our Signal Manager, Strategy Manager. And right now we're working in our Signal Manager. And uh, we've already handled the case for a register signal event. But now that we have signals registered, we need to send prices to those signals so that those signals can then either generate signals or they can update their calculations or whatever they need to do based on price. If you look here in our, when we get a rate event, we have a data a get tick. We need to see if we have a pair. Because effectively what we have to do is we need to loop through all the signals and see what um, there it is, get instrument. That's what we're looking for. We're going to have to loop through all of our signals, and if that signal is for that pair, then we're going to send that signal, this rate event. So um, one of the things we need to do in our signal class, let's see, we created a EMA20 crossover signal, and this is going to have to take in a string, whoops, string the currency pair and a, a chart type of type. We will use these when we create an instrument, but we're going to have to super, um, let's see, yeah, super the pair, I think is what we're going to need to do. And so private string pair. This dot pair equals pair, and again we're going to need a setter getter setter for pair, and I don't want to set it; I just want to get it. <clears throat> so what that's going to give me the ability to do is in our signal manager we will have the ability to f uh, loop through for signal uh, s in uh, signals dot values which is a collection of signals if s dot get pair is equal to um, uh, well I should say dot equals our rate event instrument. If that's the case, s dot um, update price, passing it in our tick. Now this does not exist, so let's create that method. <clears throat> This is going to be an abstract method so that the extending classes will have to implement it. So let's put that up here, I think, is where I want it. So now that can go away. And I think we will take this away too and we will put that in our strategy because our strategy is now going to have to implement this so I'm going to say price update and it's just going to be tick all right <clears throat> so I think I think our signal manager is close to being done. We're going to need a way for the signals to generate signals. And those will get put into this events queue. So I'm not sure quite yet how we're going to do that. I don't want to I want a signal just to create a signal. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to handle that, but for now we'll leave it the way it is. So our our signal manager here, if it gets in a rate event, 
it's going to look up any signals that it has, determine if that signal's pair is the same as the instrument that's coming in. If so, send the rate event onto that signal, and that signal will update its price or potentially generate another signal. So for now, uh, that's what that's going to do. Uh, and then we're going to handle a register signal event, and that comes from the strategy manager. The strategy manager, when it starts up, it looks through any of its strategies that, or any strategies that are registered with it, and sends a register signal event with all the signals that need to get watched. And so here we add them, so long as they don't already exist with the same ID. So I think this is ready to go. Let's look at our strategy manager. So we have an EMA crossover strategy. I'm not sure what it does. Uh, it's got a EMA crossover signal, uh, EMA 20. Okay, so here's where we, so this strategy is gonna watch a specific pair. So let's watch the, Euro USD and on our chart type let's do chart type S10 this would be the easiest one to generate us a signal so here's our signal we have one signal and so when get signals is called and when we pro we are process signal event we register the signal and here's when that signal fires uh, we will get it back in this spot here so that's how this and basically we're just registering this and then we're printing it back so now we need to look at our uh, actual signal our EMA crossover signal and see what this is gonna do but my last couple of videos have been kind of long so I'm gonna stop this one here so in here this is where we're gonna take some of our code from the test rates where we had indicators and charts uh, that's going to be inside of our signal because our signal is going to be watching remember our, our signal is going to be getting these update price update prices and uh, every time a price update happens you know we want to determine whether or not we are going to fire a signal or not so anyway thanks for watching uh, as always, if you like this video, please uh, choose like in the bottom corner. And um, in our next video, we will be filling out this class. So stay tuned for more. This is the Java Programmer.